Let's move on to the next question. In the diagram, we have OAB is a sector of a circle, center O and radius 12. So this is the radius, this is also the radius 12. Center O, and this is the angle 1 third pi. Now we, we can always convert this if you want to. We know pi is equal to 180 degrees. So 1 third pi is equal to 60 degrees. Up to you. You can work with degrees or pi as you please. Now again, it is always easier to work with, with radians in that case. Uh, because we can use the formula directly. Now let's move on. So the lines AX and BX are tangents to the circle at A and B respectively. Okay, so these two are tangent, as you can see here, they join with the center, which means this have to be 90 and this have to be 90. Okay, now part one, we have to find the exact value of AX, giving your answer in terms of root of three. Now where's AX? AX is this length. Now what we can do now, first thing first, we can try to break this down and see what can we use from this shape. So I can first break this down into half. Okay, now given that both are tangents, right? This is 12, 12. This also must be the same. And also this angle right here must be the same. It is exactly half of what third pi, which is what? One over six pi which is 30 degrees, right? That will be the angle right here. Now, by observation, what do we have? You can see we have a right angle triangle. We are trying to find this side. We know this side. This is my A side, right? So I can use what? Tan. Tan of the angle is equal to, this is the opposite side, which is AX, over the value of the A side, 12. Now what is the value of tan 30? Now again, it is always advised to know the exact value. So tan 30 is what? Let's see, tan 30 degrees, that will be this. So how do we find this? So let's say you did not know the exact, I guess using the calculator you have now should be fine. You can find this directly on your calculator. However, uh, let me try to see what is possible to show you guys. So for example, uh, usually I do know that sine of 30 is 0.5. I do know cos of 30 is equal to root 3 over 2. Now, if I want to find the value of tan of 30, I will just do sine divided by cos. So 0.5 divided by root 3 over 2. And that will be what? So 0.5 divided by root 3 divided by 2. That should be actually, let me, that should be one value. Let me do this actually here because it seems to be confusing on the calculator. So let me continue here. We have half, half, divide becomes multiply, and you have two. So here we have root three. Cancel, cancel, you have one over root three. So tan of this become one over root three. So we can check one divided by root three is this value, tan 30, of 30, that will be same value. So as a way, we can also derive to find the exact value as well. So let me write this down. Tan 30 is 1 over root 3 ax over 12, which means ax have to be 12 over root 3. Now again, you can always simplify if you want to. Uh, it is up to you. I will write this as follows. Now, let me simplify because it's always best to simplify. So right now I have ax equal to 12 over root 3. Now how can we simplify this? I can multiply both sides by root 3. Now why both? So I don't change the fraction. That will be 12 root 3 over, this will be 3, that should be 4 root 3. So this will be, ax will be 4 root 3 as your exact value. Now for part 2, find the area of the shaded region giving your answer in the form of pi and root 3. Now, how would you find the area of this region? So pretty easy, step by step. We understand that this side is the same as this side. So what if I just find this one first and then multiply by two to get both area? So first thing first, let me find the area of the whole triangle. So area of triangle, 
uh, o a x will be half time base times height a x will be 4 root 3 again the reason why I can do this is because the triangle is a right angle triangle now simplify that will be 1 6 that will be 24 root 3 for the area of of this triangle now I can uh, remove this value over here so I can only have this one so minus the area of of the sector OAX that will be half R square which is 12 square theta the angle is 1 over 6 pi in terms of radians if you want to use a formula here you have to use radians that will become what let's see so 12 square times half times 1 over 6 you will have 12 that will be 12 pi so now here we are only trying to find this area just this one that will be the big one 24 root 3 minus 12 pi but we understand that this and this are the same so we can just multiply by 2 to find the area that we need to find this minus 24 pi okay and that will be the area in terms of pi and root 3 you can always write centimeters square for the area and that will be a question regarding circular measure